The new year is heralded by spectacular fireworks in Sydney, Australia. And as 2022 is celebrated across the world, here at home, there are fears that New Year's gatherings will become COVID super spreaders. New York is going ahead with plans for the iconic Times Square ball drop. Just 15,000 vaccinated partygoers will be there to see it. You must wear a mask over your nose and mouth at all times. And no chairs and no backpacks will be allowed beyond this point. Some were taking their places before noon today. There is no doubt that all the celebrations tonight, welcoming in the new year will provide an opportunity for the virus to spread. And we would anticipate we'll see some of the consequences of that during the first three weeks of January. People who are unvaccinated are going to be at risk of being hospitalized. This Walmart Supercenter in New Jersey is just one of several temporarily closed by staffing shortages and the surge in COVID cases. The company says the closures will allow the stores to deep clean and restock. Meanwhile, the surge is hitting pharmacies. The intense demands of COVID are causing many pharmacy technicians to quit. I got to my breaking point where I couldn't do it anymore after 15 years. Getting yelled at on a daily basis, sworn at, threatened. Um, it, it just, the stress of it is just ridiculous. I spoke with Mike Johnson of the Pharmacy Technicians Association. Why are these pharmacy techs quitting their jobs? They're exhausted. They are overworked. They are underpaid. They are not getting the respect that they need and they don't feel safe. Actress Deborah Messing posted this message of herself in a charcoal beauty mask after testing positive for COVID. It is the perfect end to 2021, the juicy cherry on the proverbial cake. And 65-year-old John Bernheisel was released from a Pittsburgh area hospital after a two month long battle with COVID. An image of hope for the new year. Happy new year!